Hello guys and welcome to the CB Scientific Channel. Optimum Reaction here. We're going to go into the detection kits once again, but today we have something fun for you. Two for the price of fun. We have the THC detection kit and the edibles detection kit. So let's get into it. But first we have to say nothing used in this video was illegal. We do not use illegal substances in our videos. Also, we do not condone the use, the utilization, any of the above of illegal cannabis. So there we go. Now we got that out of the air. Let's continue. First, we're going to start with a uh, THC detection kit. And just like you've seen before, this is from test4kits.com. You can pick these guys up there. Uh, it's made by CB Scientific. That's right there. Let's flip it around. And this is how we open her up. Ooh, and on the interior, we have our three little vials. These are darker vials because these uh, have to be in the dark vial. They are UV resistant. So whenever you get these detection kits, you must leave the dye solution remaining inside these vials uh, until you use it, which you would put it then in the reaction vial, which we'll get to shortly. So again, three vials, three separate detections. One reaction vial, you just wash it out and you have your solvent bottle. Now let's get into some of the language down here. These are your uh, instructions, as you can see. You can see how much to use right there. We can also see the ingredients up here, but again, the importance deals with this chart at the bottom. This is the detection chart. So this says a no or a yes for a positive or negative detection. And as you can see, a uh, yes will be any gradient of red all the way down to very dark red. So that is the THC detection kit. Now we will get into the edibles detection kit. The reason why we're doing this is because they're very similar. Uh, let's open this guy up right here. They are very similar. As you can see, we have the same vials here. There's a little bit different concentration of the dye solution inside, so they are different chemically, uh, but they are the same detection for the uh, THC molecule. And we also have our reaction vial here. This is a small glass reaction vial, and of course the same solvent. Very similar instructions here. You guys can pause this and read this at your own leisure. Uh, very simple. And of course the gradient scale at the bottom. We're going to be doing one detection today of this, the THC detection kit. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take out one vial, put that down. We're going to take out the reaction vial. And luckily for me, I already have a vial of open solvent. So let's get started, shall we? We have these guys, these three guys right there. We are going to get our material that we run to use. And we use a very small amount. I'm just swing it out here. Short second. And we got it right here. So this is all you need is a very small amount. And we're gonna pop the top off of this guy right here. Put that in there. We're going to take our dye solution. Pop the top off of that and pour it right inside, get as much as you can inside it, doesn't matter if all of it does not get in, but it will lead to a more accurate test if you get most of it inside. It will still be an accurate test if you do not. So, now we get the solvent bottle and we pour the solvent inside. I would fill up about there a little bit more. So about there, that's a good amount right there. And the color of just a regular negative reaction is this yellowish color, but it will turn a nice dark red momentarily. We just have to let it set for a little while. So, I believe that's it over there. Again, a positive detection is 10 minutes, just like the CBD detection. As we can see, it's already turning an orange, darker orangish color. Of course, we have to let it set just a little bit longer. And for the edibles detection kit, it works in a similar fashion. We're actually going to be doing that as well. We're going to take out our little reaction valve here and put that down. We're also going to be taking out another bottle or a vial of our dye solution and we'll open up the reaction vial put that down get some more of our material again a very small amount is needed it's quite necessary put that inside the edibles does require a little bit more because uh, the chemical the solvent that does strip off the rest of the food particles on the edibles is a little stronger than the solvent in the THC detection kit. So, and the dye solution is also engineered just specifically for this detection kit. They are very similar though since they do detect for THC. So we're keeping things chemically similar. So we pour our dye solution inside and then we pour all our solvent inside. And that's a good amount there. Again, you wanna leave solvent for about three detections, if that is your plan to do three detections. 
and we'll let that react again. You can see it's it's <laughs> reacting right away since we do use a little bit more for this detection. Uh, it's a lot simpler with an edible because when you put an edible inside this detection kit, it will take a little bit longer since it does have to strip off the extra particles of food. This detection is already turning a darker red color, and this one will be very shortly turning a, a deep, deep dark red color. Again, a full detection is 10 minutes. So some of the things not to do for these detection kits is, of course, leaving this bottle out in heat and also with the cap off. The cap does have to be on the bottle. Uh, that prevents any evaporation from happening. Also, just like I said with the THC detection kit, these vials for the edibles detection kit must, must be left in their respective containers or else the uh, UV sunlight, the rays, will destroy uh, the dye material inside. Now, another good thing to take into account is if you plan to mix these two together, you know, the dye solution and the solvent solution, before you put in your uh, detectable material before you put in whatever material you're going to be detecting, make sure you use that dye and solvent solution within 24 hours because after that it does not become viable anymore. We can see here that it's becoming a uh, nice darker red color. It's getting a really nice reddish hue. Um, same thing with this guy over here. A really nice reddish hue. So we're going to compare that right over here with our our line here and it's about yeah it's about right here if we can see that yeah from my perspective of course how I determine colors is completely different from how you determine colors so that's basically the THC detection kit in a nutshell and the edibles detection kit in a nutshell that's that's it guys I can't wait to talk to you again about the THC and CBD combination next week you guys have